Well, hello. We haven't done one of these in a while. And since today I have to make a Texas sheet cake, I thought that I would record doing it and give you the recipe. It is my mom's and it's amazing. And as always, the recipe will be at the end of the video for you. So let's get started. First thing you're gonna do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees and then get your blender or mixer ready to go. Okay, in my mixer here is um, two cups of sugar and two cups of flour. You are going to mix those up. And while you're doing that, um, you also need to get a pot out that's going to need to boil some other ingredients. In our pot, I put one cup of water. You're also going to do two sticks of butter and four tablespoons of cocoa powder. And you're going to bring that to a boil. Also, these are the background noises you're hearing in the video. The puppies love their little busy mats. While I'm waiting for this to boil, off to the side, you are going to get ready um, a half a cup of milk with, um, you're gonna add one tablespoon of vinegar to the milk and then just leave it to the side for now. Once this has come to a boil, I'm going to take this and directly add it to our flour and our sugar. Okay, and once you have that chocolate mixture mixed in with the flour and the sugar, you are gonna take one teaspoon of baking soda, two eggs, and then your milk with your vinegar combo, and you're gonna add that to your mixer and blend it all in together. Then you're gonna get a cookie sheet like this, um, and grease it and then you're going to pour your mixture we just put together into here and bake it in the oven for 20 minutes. While that's baking, let's make the frosting. You're going to get out a pot, you're going to add a stick of butter to it, you're going to do five tablespoons of milk with four tablespoons of your cocoa powder. Mix it all together until um, the butter melts. Once that has melted, you're going to add one teaspoon of vanilla and three and a half cups of powdered sugar. Okay, and then we're just going to mix all that in together. By the way, this is the best frosting ever. This recipe is so easy. So you're gonna pull the cake out when it's done, let it cool, and then pour the frosting on top. Mm hmm that's good. Save some frosting for my kids. And here it is frosted.